this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a web development environment using VirtualBox, Vagrant, and Puppet. I'll be using a Mac with a fresh install of Yosemite version 10.10.1. This should take less than 30 minutes, all depending on your system and internet connection. Let's begin. Xcode is Apple's integrated development environment that contains a suite of software development tools. To install Xcode, open your terminal. Then type Xcode select install. Hit return to run the command. A pop-up asks you if you really want to install. Confirm the installation by clicking install. Agree to the terms and you're good to go. I will use Homebrew to manage the installation of the applications we'll need. To install Homebrew, open up your browser and type brew.sh. Copy the install command. Now go to your terminal and paste the command and hit return. Press return to continue. Homebrew is installing. Once it's finished installing, run Brew Doctor to make sure your system is ready to brew. We will install the necessary applications to run our server on a virtual machine. But before we do that, let's install Homebrew Cask. Cask provides a simple command line interface to administer Mac applications. To install Cask, open your terminal. Now type in brew install cask room cask brew cask. Hit return. Once Cask installed successfully, you may run Brew Doctor for a quick check to see if the system is ready. To install VirtualBox, type in brew cask install and the program name, in this case VirtualBox. You will need to enter your administrative password, so make sure you have access. Now to install Vagrant, do the same thing as before, but write Vagrant as the program name. Press the up arrow to fetch the last used command and type in Vagrant. Hit return. Now we have Vagrant and VirtualBox installed and ready to go. We did this quickly by using the Homebrew Package Manager and command line interface from Cask. To configure our Vagrant VM, we're going to use the power of Puppet. More specifically, an incredibly useful web application called PuffPet. Open your browser and navigate to puphpet.com. This is a simple GUI to set up a virtual machine for web development. I'm going to select Debian Wheezy because I've had complete success setting up this server. You can change the host name to anything you like. Usually put it as localhost. You can allocate as much memory as your system allows you. For example, my MacBook has 16 gigabytes, so I can easily give the VM one or two gigabytes. However, leaving it at the default 512 megabytes should run smoothly. You can also allow the guest machine to use as many CPUs as your system has. In the shared folder section, we will be adding the path of the project's source folder. I'll create a new folder in the home directory called www. This can be named anything you like. And this will be the folder we're going to share. Add the path of this folder to the input area. In my case, 
it's forward slash users forward slash George forward slash dub dub dub. The shared folders target path is where your host machine's project folders will reside. You can leave the default unless you have a specific reason to change it. Click on NFS and continue. There's all sorts of configuration settings for the guest machine here. For the sake of brevity, I'll be running through this pretty quickly so we can get our server up and running. I deselect NGINX. I'll be installing Apache. Install MySQL. Your username and password are listed here. Keep those handy. Okay, download and we should be ready for the next step. Now that all the applications are installed and our configuration files are downloaded, it's time to boot the guest machine. Locate your downloaded Puppet folder and rename it to something else. I'll call this one Debian. Move the folder to your home directory. Open Terminal. Go to the Debian folder. To boot the guest VM, all you need to type is vagrant up. Do that and hit return. This might take a while, maybe 10 minutes, so be patient. If you see a happy couple of elephants and nothing red, then your VM has booted successfully. Read the information which tells you about the private key and how to use the config.yaml file. You can also confirm that it's running by typing vagrant global status within the VM's directory. Before we go on, we're going to need a text editor. In your terminal, type brew cask search sublime. So sublime text, which is an awesome free text editor, by the way, can be installed with cask. Go ahead and do that by typing brew cask install sublime text. Now that sublime text is installed, Use it to view your VM's configuration files. In my case, they're located in the Debian folder. The file we're interested in is called config.yaml, and it is located in the Puppet folder. View the configuration file with Sublime Text or any other text editor. Locate the private network IP address of the VM. Copy the IP address and paste it in your browser after HTTP. If everything is working correctly, you should see the welcome message telling you that you are pretty awesome. There's a virtual host already set up called awesome.dev that we can use for a test project. 
In the current version, line 97 is where you can find the configuration details. On your local machine, we can create an index.php file within the awesome folder that is in the www project source folder. We will simply echo hello world to test if everything's working fine. Now on your browser, navigate to http awesome.dev and you should be greeted by the index file we just created. We can go a little further and inspect the server's configuration by adding the PHP info function. We just set up a virtual machine with Vagrant and VirtualBox and configured it with Puppet. We created a source folder where all our projects will exist and within that folder we created an index file that was served by a virtual host named awesome.dev. Setting up virtual machines to act as a web server require more experience than just using an all-in-one solution like MAMP. The advantage is that you get full control so that you can configure the VM almost exactly as your production and staging servers. This allows you to limit any surprises that may occur when you go live. Another advantage is portability and backup. You can share the Puppet configuration files with all your team so all of you can work within the same environment. And with a good backup plan, it is easy to bring back your server on a new computer if it is ever required. All you need is VirtualBox and Vagrant installed as this video demonstrated.